and the tremendous leadership you provide. The struggle to make malaria history has been on for years, largely supported by foreign partners. The meningitis epidemic is slowing down right now. The U.S. government has injected up to $300 million in the last few years to reduce the disease, but in spite of huge financial commitments, it appears injectable a test unit. The drug that kills a parasite is still out of reach of millions of Nigerians who need it. Ending the malaria in Nigeria will prevent more than 80 million illnesses and more than 300,000 related deaths each year. So this is why malaria prevention and control remain a major U.S. foreign assistance objective. In Nigeria, the annual U.S. government funding for malaria has been $75 million annually for the last four years. And also the need for the governor, government of Nigeria, both at the federal and the state levels, to put significantly more funding into primary health care. Recent statistics reveal that the northwest region has the highest malaria prevalence rate by 37%, closely followed by the northeast with 26%. Malaria ambassador and the governor of Zamfara state, as well as the minister of health, disclose how far they have been working to intervene, especially with funds from donor agencies. And we will account for every kobo, every naira, every dollar that you give to us. And if you mismanage the resources, you will cough it. Take malaria out of the table, the room, the environment in this country. Many things will change. A maternal mortality and the fire mortality will significantly improve. The contribution of the workforce to economic development will also significantly change. All pregnant women are being given donates and drugs for free in all state government owned hospitals and other health facilities. I would like to assure that Zambra State Government will continue to sustain the fight against malaria. This year, the United States adopts the slogan, What is your role? Advancing support across the board. The consensus here is that eradicating malaria goes far beyond setting ambitious goals, but addressing the real challenges to achieve zero related malaria deaths by 2020. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.